And Julie, I'm outside the Douglas County Jail where $15 million would go to upgrade the plumbing of the facility. County leaders are worried the outdated system could fail, causing major damage to the facility. That one of the many concerns they hope to fix with money. One way or another, we have to have the things that are in here. A unanimous Douglas County Board. We are at the end of life of this equipment. Stated the case. It is critical that this equipment be replaced. The $45 million bond would upgrade the 911 center, moving it to the old Fitzgerald Veterans Home. People have an expectation that they can call 911 and it's going to be our responsibility to send them a response. There would be space to grow and the ability to process the ever-growing number of text messages. Plus, more money for radio communications. Most of the county's radios are over 15 years old. We've stretched these as far as we can. In 2014, a similar bond issue didn't go through. That issue was overshadowed by a school bond initiative and a lack of detail on how to pay for it. Commissioner Chair Mary Ann Borgeson telling us they won't make that mistake again. This bond would be paid for by cost savings and keeping existing levies on current debt. I am very comfortable that there will be no property tax increase over time because of the way this is all put together. The new request is all-inclusive. Commissioners saying doing things halfway is not the way to go. You certainly can do it for a lot less if you're doing it all. If you truly need something, you're going to pay for it, whether you buy it or not. And I believe that. And that's, that's the right. situation here. We truly need this. We're going to pay for it. It would be a whole lot better to buy it. And no one spoke in opposition for this plan today. Even the Nebraska Taxpayers for Freedom saying the money needs to be spent and the financial plan for it is sound. Again, Douglas County voters have the final say this election day. Julie, back to you.